Many of us grew up in a world where people looked down on us for our appearance and called us housekeepers or katulong just because we were too skinny or our skin was too dark. Everyone knows who's on the bottom of the barrel in their own culture. And little dark Filipinas well, are no different. I can confirm a lot of my friends say that as well. They're like, I don't want to be dark because it's considered as something bad here in the Philippines and you get insulted. I'm like, that is such a shame. What's up Philippines? Welcome back to another video with your host Nelly. I am going to react to a creator that I reacted to just recently just because I do kind of like her style. It's a little bit controversial but she's very very authentic, very true. I'm like okay I'll take it. So today I am reacting to the curse of the hot Filipina, the dangers of dating a gorgeous woman. Quite a statement I must say. So without further do we just say let's watch it together shall we hi folks the Filipino Hello. here and if you come to the Philippines one of the first things you're gonna notice that will astound and confuse you is all the ordinary looking guys walking around with beautiful women oh yeah and then if you step off the <laughs> plane you're likely to see men that wouldn't get a rating of three in your country arm in arm with women who could easily appear on the cover of a men's magazine or even in the center pages, if you know what kind I mean. Kind of true. Now your first thought is probably gonna be the one you've been programmed to have all your life. That there's only one possible reason why this is happening, and it ain't mm -hmm. about love. Right off the bat, you assume okay. it must be the case that the man- I told you, she is super, super real. I don't know what's going to shock me today. Let's see, let's find out. The case that the men are just buying these women. What else could possibly account for the mismatch in looks? Well, that's because you're assuming there is a mismatch. But today I'm gonna turn your world upside down by showing you that we Filipinas okay. often think we're the lucky ones. Yes, really. It all has to do with perceptions of beauty and what you see as a beautiful woman, we might see as common or plain. Okay. But even though you can have a gorgeous partner here, is there a downside to being with such an attractive woman? Never. Well, stick around. I don't know. To reveal <laughs> The Curse of the Hot Filipina. Ooh! <laughs> oh man, I don't know, she, her style is just something else. You know the old saying that if you want to keep a woman, marry an ugly one? Whoa. Well, that might make sense okay. in some instances, but in the case of a relationship in the Philippines, it often just doesn't apply because there's a huge difference in what we consider beautiful. Okay, first of all, I have to say all of my Filipino friends my age or like a little bit younger are just beauty queens I don't know what's going on, but they're just so pretty. I'm like every time I watch their Instagram I can't understand. I can't comprehend why everybody is looking like a supermodel. Just saying. I've mentioned this phenomenon before But I can tell by a lot of the recent comments that some of you new guys just aren't getting it yet And it's a really important thing to understand so I'm gonna explain it in detail and show you how it can either work in your favor or totally bite you in the butt. The fact is, we don't see our looks the way you do and so our SMV or sexual market value oh. is totally different from what it would be in All the right. West. We're and talking economics now. Upside down too. <laughs> Here in the Philippines, you guys become exotic looking and your appearance is gonna get graded on a completely different curve from the one you're used to. You get extra points here. And in the eyes of Western men, some Filipinas get extra points that we're not used to too. Okay. The thing you guys have trouble digesting is that many of the Filipinas you think are insanely hot or actually the ugly ducklings oh, in the eyes of the okay. local guys. <laughs> I mentioned that right. fact during my last video when I told you that Filipino men generally won't give me the time of day. Oh, I appreciate really? all you folks that commented positively about my looks, but it's really one of those eye of the beholder things. So how can it be that two guys can look at the exact same woman and one of them sees a 10 and one of them sees a 2? Well, it's Ooh. actually really simple. All right. Local Filipinos are attracted to fair-skinned women who have a little meat on their bones. Okay. So for them, a thick woman isn't a deal breaker. Western men on the other I had no hand, idea. Is that true? Like tan-skinned, slender women even the really skinny ones that are often rejected by the local guys. I get a lot of questions about how Filipino men regard foreigners who come here to find a mate. 
and you're always surprised when I tell you that most of them don't mind because you're hunting for different Filipinas. They're hunting for bear. Hunting. You're out for bear. <laughs> yeah, just hunting. So you're not really encroaching on each other's territory, and everyone's happy, especially the beavers. Many of you guys have also asked me why your Filipina girlfriends or even wives just can't see how beautiful they are even oh, when you tell them okay. over and over. Well, that's because once again, you're looking at things from your own perspective, which is completely natural. But you got to understand the way we see it. Okay, something that I have to say in general, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? So in terms of skin, for example, I want to be tanned. I know that in the Philippines, a lot of people want to be, have like whiter skin or I want to have straight hair, but you know, I have curly hair and then she has straight hair. Maybe she wants curly hair. It's so different. Many of us grew up in a world where people look down on us for our appearance and called us housekeepers or katulong, or they said we were from the mountains. Galing sa bundok, just because we were too skinny or our skin was too dark. We knew we were never going to win any beauty pageants and we'd probably be the last ones asked to the prom. Because when it comes to looks, everyone knows who's on the bottom of the barrel in their own culture. And little dark Filipinas wow. are no different. And you know, after a few decades of hearing the same thing, you start to believe it. Mm -hmm. And when you look in the mirror, that's what you see. I can confirm a lot of my friends say that as well. They're like, I don't want to be dark because it's considered as something bad here in the Philippines and you get insulted. I'm like, that is such a shame. It's only natural to judge your own looks by the society you live in. Doesn't everyone do that? So it shouldn't be surprising when along comes the foreigner telling us we're gorgeous and we think you're either blind or just feeding us a lot of pig manure. <laughs> of course we don't believe you at first. And sometimes we never do believe you because in our world, we're the rejects. So why is it so hard to yeah. believe that the opposite is true too? You might think you're not much to look at, but we don't see it the same way. To us, you're the exotic, attractive ones, even if you have some extra mileage on you. I recently extra made a video mileage. where I asked <laughs> what, what does that like mean? on a man. And you guys were shocked to find out that many of us prefer the dad bod with a little padding around the middle. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think about 80% yeah. of the women I asked said they thought love handles were cute. Well, wow. Compare okay. that to what a group of modern Western women would say about what kind of men they're attracted to. And I think it's pretty clear that our standards are just different than yours. Also, Could be true. generally speaking, women aren't as fixated on looks to begin with. Mm -hmm. Of course we want a good looking guy, which we think most of you are. But we're not as stimulated by the visuals. That's just the way it is. And when you consider the fact that age isn't a big negative factor here, it seems like Filipinas and foreigners are a perfect match. I know it's gonna take a while to sink in. And you're probably love wondering what the catch is. is. Love. <laughs> but that's exactly how we feel when one of you foreigners chooses us and tells us how gorgeous we are. We don't believe you. We think we must be the luckiest woman on earth to have somehow caught the eye of an attractive, worldly man. And as you might have noticed, we're often terrified that you're going to wake up one day and realize that you could have a much hotter woman than us. Okay, is that true? I don't know. I don't know. Like it's. I mean, I have a few friends who have foreign boyfriends or spouses, but they're not. Like they're very secure. Which can explain the ridiculous amount of mate guarding that goes on here, mm. and how a gorgeous young Filipina can throw a fit when her much older, out of shape Western boyfriend even looks at another woman, oh. even just on TV. Okay, let me know in the comment section down below if Filipinas are that jealous. I mean, that's a video yeah. or in YouTube videos. I've like, talked to guys who literally fine, have I to guess. watch my know. videos in private Comment down below. <laughs> or when their girlfriend's not around to avoid a nuclear explosion. I can only imagine what would happen if they were caught with porn. Oh. They might think that's just the actions of a desperately poor woman that's afraid to lose a meal ticket. Uh. But you'll see the same behavior all over the place, regardless of the status of the woman involved. It's silly. It's annoying. But that's just the way it is here. And it shows once again that in our eyes, you are the prize. Mm, okay. So why am I making this video? Yeah, well, why? Not only I don't do I want to explain what's going on with the couples you're going to see here, 
but I also want to protect you from something. Because as great as it is for you in the Philippines, it can be equally disastrous for you Ooh. back in the West. And a lot of you are putting yourselves at risk. Why? I get emails almost every day from guys who say, I met this wonderful woman online and we've been dating for a while. I don't really know how you date online because in my world, going on a date means actually being yeah, together, actually meeting you know, yeah. physically. But oh well. And these guys want to bring the girl back to the West and marry them there. Or maybe they've been to the Philippines once or twice and they feel like they know the girl well enough to take her back home. And all I can say is no, 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 no. Didn't your mom teach you not to run with scissors, not to stick a fork in a toaster, and not to bring a strange Filipina back to the West? Well, if she didn't, she should have. Because really? <laughs> if you expose a gorgeous, young, naive woman to Western culture without taking the necessary precautions, you're flirting with disaster. Okay. I have a Be video warned. on the subject that explains why that's a bad idea. So if the thought even crosses your mind, please watch it before you make a potentially catastrophic mistake. I am a little bit shocked how she talks about herself and like other women. It's just very unusual, I must say. I don't know, catastrophic is very overboard. The problem is, once you take a pretty Filipina back to your home country, and release her into the population there, she's gonna find out real fast that she's the hot commodity now. Ooh. She's <laughs> gonna get hit on constantly. From the guy behind the counter at the 7-Eleven to the immigration attorney that she has to deal with. <laughs> Every guy she runs across is gonna be chatting her up, oh, making wow. excuses to be around her, and making her offers that are hard to refuse. I know. Because the same thing happened to me when I went to the UK. Okay. I went from being a woman who didn't even get looked at to a woman that men didn't stop looking at. Okay. Good for and you. Filipina's not mature She's enough gorgeous. to all the attention. She might end up seeing her situation with you in a less favorable light. If your relationship isn't properly grounded by already standing the test of time, at least for a couple years in the Philippines, then you're playing Russian roulette with your future and your finances. Now, does that mean you can never bring your Filipina home to the West? That a Filipina will just jump ship as soon as she sees a hotter prospect? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. But you want to be darn sure in every way it's possible to be darn sure that mm -hmm. you're both in it for the same reasons. Okay, As if you take Good a point. gorgeous 24-year-old you barely know that doesn't have any experience in the real world and thrust her into a new life where every man she meets is it's telling difficult. her she's a beauty queen. You might just end up feeling the curse of the hot Filipina. Be so away! That's it for this episode and I'll be back on Friday with yet another interesting interview that you won't want to miss. Okay. Until then folks. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, very hey, interesting video. I thought I'd just call and let you know the latest news about Project Snag a Foreigner. Yeah, it's what? not going very well. No? Western guys are weird. I met this one guy, but it sounded like he's here on a hunting trip because he said he was just looking for beaver. I beaver? told him we don't have beavers here, but he just laughed and said, oh yes, you have lots of nice ones. So then I asked him what he wanted the beavers for. And apparently, he's into taxidermy because he said he's what? here to stuff as many beavers as he can. Is this code? I don't care if a guy's got a hobby, but I don't think he's going to find what he's looking for. I told him if I had a beaver, he was welcome to stuff it. But obviously, I couldn't help him in that what department. What is this? So then he gets this weird look in his face, calls me a ladyboy, and storms oh. off. I guess I just don't understand foreigners the way I thought I did. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll keep trying. Surely there's someone that wants to date me, even with my dark skin. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. If you think about it, I'm kind of like your stewardess, making sure you stay in an upright position during the video <laughs> and guiding you to the exits. She does. Yeah. The exits of all your worries about life in the Philippines. The captain has asked that you please give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel. And for your entertainment, we have a selection of other in-flight movies for you to enjoy. <laughs> she is really doing a great job. In the case of an emergency job. landing, place your head between your knees and kiss your ass goodbye. Have a nice flight. All right.
Yeah, definitely another interesting video. Mm -hmm. She is very, yeah, honest, like super honest, no filter. She says what she thinks and also plays with stereotypes, which you saw in the end. So yeah, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it, if it is true, if you have a different opinion about it and definitely subscribe for more content on What's Up Philippines. And if you are into travel content and lifestyle and food, please check out my other channel, Nelly's Life. It's always linked in the description box down below or it will pop up right here. That was it for today. I'll see you guys next time here on What's Up Philippines? Bye-bye.